Now maybe like me, you're spending more and more time working from home, you've set up your workspace here at the dining room table, however this is far from ideal because not only am I trying to work here, I've also got children trying to do their homework, I've got people trying to prepare food, and just occasionally we have a stab at the odd family dinner. So I think there's got to be a better space that I can work in, in order to find a comfortable, effective working environment. This isn't going to work. Now we're talking, this is the perfect work environment, my garage. It's nice and dry, it's nice and quiet. I'm not gonna have to clear everything away every time we wanna sit down as a family. I will have to clear out all of the disused gym equipment and also every single offcut of wood that I've generated over the last 15 years. And the only other small downside to this is it does get quite chilly in here. So I've decided to install a heating point down at this end of the garage. In fact, I'm going to install a heater on this wall right here. Now that gives me options. It just so happens that the other side of this wall is the existing boiler. So I could just extend the wet system, bring a couple of pipes in here, flow and return, and put a normal wet radiator down this end of the garage. I'm not too keen on that. One of the reasons being that the existing boiler is running at or very close to its maximum output rating already. So I don't really want to go messing around with that system. So that leaves me with electric heating. Now, traditionally, we might be thinking storage heater. Well, that's no good unless I want to go over to an E7 tariff, which I'm not really interested in at the moment. Or I could just put in a normal panel heater. And again, those things are not very efficient. Is there not a third way with electrical heating? Well, there is. And it just happens to be right here. So I've decided to install a thermofluid radiator from the Ascot range by Premspec. Now you may be looking at this heater and wondering why this one? What makes this heater so special? Surely one heater is very much like another. Well no, this heater has some very clever functions and features that means it performs in a very effective and very efficient way. I'm going to explain some of those features in a moment, but before I do that, I'd like to explain one major reason why I use Premspec for this heater. I'll explain that while I get this on the wall. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to try and figure out just how many heaters we're going to need in this room. We need to figure out how much power is going to be required to heat the room up. So let's start figuring that out. Now, when you do this kind of calculation, you need to start off by understanding the uh, shape and size of the room. So that's the first most important thing. We're dealing with a nice rectangular box, so that makes life nice and easy. And you've also got to think about what's on the other side of the walls. So just the other side of the wall here, we've got... minus one degree C, uh, minus one degree C. And then you've got to think about the kind of temperature that you want to, to get the space up to. So here we'll be dealing with uh, probably uh, 21 degrees C is probably a comfortable working temperature. That's what we're aiming for. Then we've got to think about the different areas within the number of air changes per hour, which will be 1.5, times that by the temperature difference, we're going to do 21 minus 1. It's actually 21 minus minus 1. Finally, we've got 1.8 times 4 times 3, which is going to give us 21.6. loss we're getting through the walls here we're going to be installing 1500 watt heaters so we take this value uh, and we divide that by 1500 and that will give us the number of heaters that we need in this space so we've got 10,517.8 divided by 1500 and that leads us effortlessly to the conclusion that we will need 7.01 uh, heaters in my garage. So this garage is going to require seven heaters. That seems a little excessive to me. Um, have I... Hang on a minute. So there's your first really good reason for choosing a heater from the Ascot range from Premspec. All you've got to do is just give them a ring, send them the dimensions of your room, answer some basic questions and they'll do all that complicated calculation for you and let you know how many heaters you need installing. It's an excellent service and one that I was very glad to take advantage of after my botched calculation there. But what are some of the other reasons why you should choose a heater from the Ascot range by Premspec for your temporary workspace or for a more permanent solution? Well, one of them is it comes with a plug already connected onto the flex. That might seem like a small thing, but it means that you don't have to wire an extra circuit. You don't have to mess around with switch view spurs. You can just plug this into an existing ring circuit if you so desire. 
Another good reason is that the heater can come with feet attached or even with wheels on there for you to be able to move it around easily from room to room should you not want it in a fixed and final position. The heater also has a market leading efficiency of 167 watts per fin. So that means that each one of these panels produces 167 watts of heat, which is better than any other heater currently on the market. So why is that such a big deal? Well, that means that the heater is both smaller and lighter than its competitors, which means that it's easier for the electrician to install. So those are some really good but fairly simple benefits to the Ascot range. There are some other really clever things that this heater does as well. We talked earlier about the possibility of storage heaters or panel heaters. Now with those devices, the issue with them is that they are either on or off. They are either drawing current or they are not. Even if they've got a thermostat on, when the room reaches temperature, the thermostat simply disconnects the supply to the heater. It doesn't reduce the current, it cuts it off completely. Now this heater has a very clever temperature monitoring and control system so that when this gets up to temperature and it knows that the room has reached the temperature that you want it to be, it doesn't cut the current off completely. It actually controls the current and it will reduce the current to a lower level, which means that this heater operates really efficiently. Instead of just drawing full current or no current, it can reduce the current flow into the heater, which means that the heater doesn't get really cold before it clicks on and starts to heat up again. And that means that this heater is both efficient and also really cost effective to the end user. So that's a really good point to pass on to your customers. But of course, these days, no video review would be complete if this didn't have some Wi-Fi connectivity. And that's where this heater goes from being pretty clever to really smart. Now, one of the challenges that we're facing as more and more devices require connection to the internet is that a lot of these devices require a separate hub to be connected up to your router. And it may be that the area surrounding your router is starting to look something like a paint sample chart as you have increasingly large amounts of hubs connected. And it may also be that you're running out of connection points in the back of the router to hook those up. So PremSpec have come up with a really, really clever idea, which is simply to have a small USB hub here. So this does not need connecting directly into the router. It can simply be plugged in wherever you've got a USB outlet point. So that might be a socket outlet with a built-in USB charging socket. It may well be just a laptop or a PC that you can plug that into, or it may even be just plugging it into your mobile phone charging device as well. So once you've got that little device connected into your USB outlet, the heater can then be connected to the router via this little USB device and that means that it is then connected to the internet and that opens up a whole range of extra control options. Now that we've got the heater installed, connected up to the mains and connected wirelessly to the USB dongle that we saw earlier, we're now in a position where we can start to do some really smart stuff with this. So I've installed the iHeat Control app onto my mobile device here. And if I open that up, I can actually see now inside the app, the heater that I've installed and I can actually control that heater. So. I have a colleague that I work with who, after a cold day's filming out in the open air, takes great pleasure as he walks back over to his electric vehicle in pointing out how he can set his vehicle to be a certain temperature before he even gets inside it. Well, now I can go one better because I can actually make my entire garage get nice and warm before I get into it. So I can just go to the app and ask the app to heat my garage up to 21 degrees and the heater has now clicked on and is starting to run. I can also control the program that this heater runs on so I can change when it turns on, when it turns off. I can lock it out so I can make it so that other people can't control it. Perfect if you've got this installed in perhaps a hotel room or something like that. I can also make it so the heater won't operate unless I am in the building. So I can make it go into setback mode if I leave the building, which I think is really pretty smart. I can also see how much power it's been using over a given period of time. I can see the consumption of it, and that is obviously super helpful for keeping on top of my energy bills and seeing where the consumption is taking place. Now, what's really clever about this is the fact that this heater is connected via radio frequency to the dongle that we saw earlier. So we only need to get a Wi-Fi signal to that USB stick that we saw previously in the video. From there on on, it's all controlled by radio 
frequency. So what that actually means is that each heater will then speak to other heaters that I might have installed in the building via RF as well. So it means that I don't have to worry about getting a Wi-Fi signal to every single heater. I've just got to get it to the dongle and then radio frequency takes care of the rest, which makes it a much more simple installation and allows me to have up to 31 of these heaters connected onto my system via RF. However, this heater has one more trick up its sleeve. Let's go and check that out now. So we're back where we started at the dining room table. However, this is no longer gonna be my workspace. I've now got a nice cozy garage to be working in with one added advantage. Alexa, open heating control. Welcome to heating control skill. With this skill, you can control all your heaters, storage heaters and thermostats. What do you want to do? Alexa, turn on the heater in the garage. Switching on the garage heater. The current mode is auto. Let's give it five minutes and then we'll get to work. So there we go. I'm sure you'd agree that if you're creating a temporary workspace or going for something more permanent, this heater from the Ascot range by Premspec really does fit the bill. We've seen how convenient it is to work with Premspec. They'll help you out with your design calculations to make sure you get the right amount of heaters for the space that you're working in. We've seen that it's really efficient, that market leading watts per fin value. And we've seen that it's really smart as well, connecting to Alexa. It will also work with Nest and your mobile phone app it really is a very smart piece of kit. So I'm looking forward to continuing to work inside my garage.